So let's go ahead and work on 8.3 today. 8.3, we're gonna talk about periods and frequencies. Periods and frequencies. Let's see, who do we have? Okay. So this is kind of new to Ezekiel and Aka, I'm assuming. Lauren and Sam, you've heard this before, obviously. So first of all, let's talk about frequency. So frequency. If you go to page 244, frequency is defined. Uh, where is it at? Mm, frequency is basically is measured, it's measured in cycles per second, right? Cycles per second. Okay. So if you look at it that way, let's say you had a sine curve, right? You had a sine curve that looks like this. It's going to repeat itself. It's going to repeat itself as you go along, right? So you have one, two, three cycles here, right? A cycle is the amount of time it takes. The one cycle is where it repeats itself, right? So it's going to repeat itself from here to here. And it's going to re repeat itself again and repeat itself again, right? So the frequency is cycles per second, right? So the shorter each cycle takes, how does that work with frequency? Is that, is that going to be a larger frequency or a smaller frequency? This is time here, right? So the shorter it is, the more cycles you can put in a second, right? The more cycles you can put in a second, that means that, so that's the relationship between those two, right? Okay. So frequency is like that. So that's what a frequency is. Can anybody tell me what units we use in frequency? Hertz. Hertz, right? It's Hertz, right? In Hertz, so you have Hertz. But normally, what do we use? What do you hear? That's used in everyday life. Like FM, AM. Radio. Uh, okay, so decibels, megahertz, right? Me me megahertz, right? Megahertz, oh. right? Megahertz. Okay, and then you hear kilohertz, right? Right. Can anybody tell me which one is associated with AM? Which one is associated with FM? So your FM band is measured in megahertz or kilohertz. Like, well, what's the uh, megahertz? It's megahertz, right? It's megahertz, right? So megahertz is going to be your FM band and kilohertz is going to be your AM band, okay? So, you know, like oldies 97.1 megahertz, something blah, 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 or whatever, right? You hear the, them announce that, right? Okay, right? Does anybody know what the difference between AM and FM is? Frequency modulation and versus <laughs> AM is amplitude, amplitude. amplitude modulation. Right? So the broadcasting stations modulate or change or boost up the frequency so they can send it out. So when they send it out, so, so you either modulate the frequency or you modulate the amplitude, okay? Right. Okay, so that is what frequency is. So what is the relationship between frequency and period? What is modulation between frequency? They're exactly, they're reciprocals, right? So if you have frequency and period, this is the relationship you have, right? Okay. So basically you just flip the other guy over, right? So in period, you're gonna have what? The period of oscillation T for the given system. In other words, the time it takes for the mass to complete one cycle. So in other words, to go from one cycle to the other, that's the period, the time it takes, right? And again, we already talked about this, right? So the shorter the period, the larger the frequency, the longer the period, 
the shorter the frequency. Okay, we already talked about this. Okay, and on page 245 and 8.3. Okay, so if you look at 8.3, it says there's, it gives you a, gives you a, an equation there. Yeah. The frequency the equation that they give you is T is equal to two pi L G. This is basically a pendulum, right? This is a pendulum, the period of a pendulum. So if you had a rope tied to a ceiling and you have a you have a weight here. Right, and it goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, right? So the period is 2 pi LG, where L is the length of the rope here, okay? Again, G here is your 32 feet per second squared or 9.8 meters per second, okay? Again, this has nothing to do how with how heavy your weight is here, right? Okay. There is no M term here. So it doesn't matter whether you put a put a one ton weight here or if you put a 10 gram weight here, it's gonna take the same amount of time to go swing one side and come back. All right, so that's that, uh, let's see, and that is, uh, that's it. Are there any questions? Well, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, well, I guess we didn't do 8.1, let's go to 8.1. 8.1, they give you a mass and spring system there. And a mass and spring system where you have a mass on a spring and it goes up and down, up and down, up and down because of the weight here. So we have where the, oh, it give, gives you the frequency. The frequency is equal to one over two pi km, where m is the mass here. So the frequency is that and the K. K is what we call the Young's constant or the K is the constant associated with the spring. Young's constant, so uh, hmm. where the force is Kn. Did we talk about this already yet? We haven't talked about this yet, have we? Springs, we haven't talked about springs yet. So this is Hooke's law. Hooke's law. Hooke's law. Okay. I'm not kidding. Kx. I'm sorry. Kx. So, in other words, if you have a system where you have a wall and you have a spring here, and if you pull it out, if you pull it out, x, the length x. It's going to take you this much force to do that. Okay. So it's basically the stiffness of the spring. Okay. Right. So that's what we call the Young's constant K here. Okay. It's the same constant. All right. Okay. So that's that. If you, if this is the frequency, what is the period? Can you tell what the period of this is? The reciprocal. Exactly. So period is going to be the reciprocal of the frequency. So just flip it over. It's going to be 2 pi. It's like that. Okay. 
All right, so that's that. And okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're good. Are there any questions on that? If not, we'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and assign you some questions. You can work on the homework.